lecture on geography so in this session we will try to understand the basic structure of geography for prelims the important areas for prelims and we will start with the main topic climatology how will we know what is an important area for prelims which topic is important for the exam we can know this by analyzing our previous years papers only by analyzing the previous years papers we will know which topic is important and which topic is not important so now we will just look at how the questions are asked in the exam how many questions from each area okay so if you see from you know bro broadly geography can be divided into world geography and indian geography okay so from world geography in the physical in the physical geography area 70 questions are asked from 2011 to 19 72 questions that means major you know major portion is from the world physical geography and 10 questions are asked from the world political geography if you come to indian geography 21 questions are asked from the physical geography and nine questions are asked from the political geography okay and economic geography including the bio geography we have 39 questions so among this the important area is the world physical geography in this important area which we have to cover is climatology about 42 questions have been asked in the last 9 years from this area itself climatology in climatology the questions are not asked directly most of the questions are application based that means we have to understand the concept and depending and based on that concept the questions are asked and we can answer those questions using the concepts what we have learned okay so this is the broad classification and how the you know the marks are being allocated or the questions are being asked from which areas so if you see the syllabus broadly okay in the world geography we have important topics like geomorphology climatology oceanography environmental geography biogeography and world mapping the geomorphology it basically deals with the shapes which are there on the earth the shapes that are present on the earth okay geo means earth morpho means shape and ology means study the study of different shapes that are present on the earth climatology is the study of the climate around us we will understand you know why the climate change takes place you know why different factors how different factors affect the climate around us we will understand all of that in the climatology next comes oceanography where we will studying oceans in depth we are studying about the ocean relief we are studying about the tides waves and all next comes environmental geography where in which we will be studying the wetlands okay and uh, the important areas like biomes are been covered in this in the biogeography we will be studying about you know the, all the soils you know the other areas like what do you call the uh, biodiversity the soils the different biodiversity areas so all these things will be covered in the biogeography next comes the world mapping this world mapping is very important in the past few years the questions are directly asked from the world mapping in the world mapping the questions are asked either from the current affairs or static so the current affairs means last couple of years what we have to do is we have to make note of the important places so the impo based on the important places the questions are asked okay so the important places next comes the indian geography in indian geography first is the physical features in physical features what we are going to study in the physical features we will have the important physical features of india like the himalayas broadly this is how we can divide india into india the physically himalayas the ganga plain and the peninsula plateau okay next comes the river system or the drainage system where in which we will understand the indus river system the ganga river system the brahmaputra godavari and all okay so these are the important river systems next we will study the climate of india this climate of india is different from this climatology how in climatology we will understand the basic concepts of climate we will understand how a cyclone occurs you know we will understand what is the basic phenomena and of el nino and all these things in the climate of india we will understand indian climate we will understand the indian monsoons okay all of these things we will study 
Next comes the soils. The soils of India, in which area we have what kind of soil and what can be grown in that, all of these things we will study. Next comes vegetation of India, the different forests that are there in India and all, the natural hazards and disasters, and the economic geography. In the economic geography, we will be studying the resources, industries, and agriculture. This agriculture is becoming important these days as the number of questions from agriculture is increasing. And finally, Indian mapping, like same like that of world mapping, Indian mapping also we have the current as well as the static. Okay. So these are broadly the topics. Generally, if you see in the past few years, in the past three to four years, about eight to 13 questions are asked from geography. Eight to 13 questions are significant number. Is a significant number. Eight to 13 questions every year. Among this, the important areas are the climatology, sorry, not this, the climatology, the world mapping. Even in India also, the physical features, the rivers, and the mapping. These are very important. You cannot leave these areas. Okay? So for this, what you have to do? Does this mean you have to leave the other portions? The answer is no. You have to cover all the portions, but while preparation, while preparing, while you are doing revision, what you have to do is, you have to you know, give more focus on these areas because more questions are coming from these areas. So you have to focus more on these areas, the important areas like climatology, the mappings, Indian mapping and world mapping, and also the physical features of India, the river systems of India. These are very important. Okay.